Uh, hey guys, this is the Asus i3 uh, Intel. So I'm gonna show you like how to take this thing apart to uh, clean it out. So this is kind of like uh, engineered to fail, if you ask me, because they're using these uh, kind of clips on the bottom that go into the motherboard. So this is extremely kind of garbage uh, because uh, they know these things are gonna break eventually, and then you're gonna you're gonna have to uh, buy a new computer or whatever. Uh, but uh, I took this thing apart. So here's the, the heat sink. I'm not using any new thermal paste. You don't have to uh, as long as you don't touch those surfaces. Uh, so what I did is I removed it and I cleaned uh, with some tissue and some water uh, around without touching uh, the, the, the thermal paste. So the way this works is um, you follow the arrows. Uh, it's saying to turn this thing counterclockwise. So each 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 of these four things. So once you turn them, uh, you're only turning them about 180 degrees or 90 degrees, whatever it is, just to um, uh, unhook it. So then it'll be kind of like loose. And do that with all four of them. And then what you notice is that it can basically lift off, but the clip is kind of still in the motherboard um, but uh, there's a black pin in there the plastic pin uh, once you uh, turn this this thing it causes it to lift out of this plastic thing so uh, uh, at the end you're just gonna have this thing sitting in the in the motherboard so you just kinda pull it out on each corner don't be uh, hard or you're gonna break it because I think I on my other Asus I've already broken this because this is such a bad design uh, that I wasn't really sure how to get it out of there but so then you might have problems sticking it back in but this one I don't think I damaged so uh, when when you get it out you're gonna have this thing stuck uh, inside there uh, so there's um, four kind of uh, clips uh, just gently uh, remove one kind of like push it over push the next one and just keep playing with it and this should come out very easily so then you can clean under and you can vacuum this thing out. So I vacuumed it out and I wiped it off a bit. Uh, but keep the orientation of the paste. Uh, so that way, like over here, I have a long projection you can see. So that will match one corner. And then keep the orientation of your fan to your heat sink. Just remember which position it was in. That way, when you put it back, your wire is going to be in the same place as it was. To make it easier for you to uh, reconnect it and uh, it's it's connected onto that that pin there has like a plastic uh, tab so uh, on this particular computer I didn't have to like use a screwdriver I just sort of wiggled the connector and it came off uh, so that was good but sometimes you need to stick like a screwdriver to open that that clip so it, that's a real pain in the ass on some computers but this computer kind of just wiggled it off and just came off no problem so um, uh, that's uh, if you want to clean out your computer because the, all the dust is under there. So I like it nice and clean. Uh, so it runs cooler. And uh, it will last longer like that. So we installed this little uh, graphics card also while we were in there. And uh, it does work. It's registering. You just have to restart the computer. And it says MSI. But it's actually uh, registering in Windows 7 as um, uh, Radeon or something like that. So... But it, it is working. I, I noticed a slight improvement. I'm not sure, like playing back a video. So uh, I, can, I can feel this heat sink though. It was getting hot. So I know this thing is working. And uh, you have to, once once I put this in, you have to attach the VGA right to this uh, thing. Because now the, the, that one's not going to work. So I know that this thing is being used. Uh, and the driver, it says it's uh, just by restarting, it's up to date. So I didn't have to like download nothing. So... That's a Windows 7 compared to Windows XP. This thing wasn't working very good on Windows XP because it didn't have the driver, but it was still kind of working. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day.